So, the Greninja Raid is finally out, and everybody's scrambling to say, oh, this is the best build. No, this is the best build. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, there is no best build. When I said I wanted a challenge, this was not what I meant. All this raid feels like is pure RNG, and I honestly don't really like it. This raid gives me a similar feeling of a shiny Pokemon getting caught in a quick ball, and I know that pissed some of you off. But before the goddamn Pokeball elitists start fighting in my comments, there's some people waiting for me to come out with builds for these raids. Raids, so I'm gonna give them to you. So enough talking. Let's get into it. Now you guys know how we do these already. Let's get into the breakdown. So the Greninja is level 100, has perfect IVs, blah blah blah, but this one was kind of cool. This Greninja, in contrary to its other 7 star raids, is a mixed attacker, meaning that it has a mix of both special and physical attacks. And for some reason, they decided to give this thing sassy nature, which increases special defense and minus speed, but it's the Pokemon company, they can do whatever they want. Now as for its moveset, it's gonna be Toxic Spikes, Double Team, Night Slash, Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, and Gunk Shot. So a pretty heavy hitting moveset with no safety of running a Pokemon with either physical or special bulk. Now with Greninja, the reason he's RNG is because his turn 0 tech is Toxic Spikes followed into a double team. And after about 3 turns, he'll nullify your boosts. And on top of that, his shield goes up insanely early which you'll see later in this video. So yeah, on top of having a heavy hitting moveset, being able to dodge your 100% accuracy attacks, and living for way too long because his shield goes up insanely early, this raid is pretty difficult. That being said, we're gonna need some heavy hitters that can break through that shield even without tearing. And for that, I bring you three builds. First up to the plate, making his second appearance in the 7 star raids, we have Slowbro. Now Slowbro is very physically bulky, meaning that he can eat up those night slash hits even though they're super effective. With that being said, the moveset is the exact same as the Cinderace raid. The only thing I changed here was the item. Now you can run Shell Bell for that passive HP back when you're using stored power, but you can also run a Zoom Lens. Now a zoom lens is an item where if you move after your target, your accuracy is increased by 0.2. Now seeing that Slowbro is always going to be slower than a Greninja, this item does come in handy. Now let's get on to the turn order. So for this Slowbro build, you're going to want to just iron defense slash slack off until the third turn. After the third turn is when Greninja will nullify your boosts. So it's kind of like you're just living until the raid actually starts after the third turn. So after he nullifies, this is when you're going to want to start using iron defenses. I'll usually use two as it will be enough to eat all the night slash hits and as you guys probably know crits ignore defense so if you get critical hit it's kind of just unlucky but a night slash crit onto this slow bro build will always be doing a low of 48 percent and a high of 58 percent so if you just make sure that you're always above that hp mark you will not die to a crit okay so after getting those two iron defenses off i'll go for three nasty plots and at this point i'll heal if i need to heal and i'll do damage if i need to do damage with stored power and stored power will do a nice chunk of his hp so with this build, you'll be killing him relatively fast if you don't get unlucky. Okay, so that's the Slowbro build, let's move on to Vaporeon. Did you guys know- Okay, so for Vaporeon, it's a very similar strat to the Slowbro strat. The only difference is that Vaporeon gets fake tears. Now Vaporeon is a little iffy. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out whether Bright Powder or Shell Bell is the play here. Now Bright Powder is an item that reduces the accuracy of your target. And with the ability Water Absorb, Vaporeon can't take damage from Hydro Pump. It also can't take a lot of damage from Ice Beam, so that will leave the AI only wanting to use Gunk Shot as that is its highest damaging move. Now Gunk Shot is only 80% accuracy, so using Bright Powder will lower the accuracy of this by about 10%. So if you're feeling lucky, then Bright Powder is the item for you. Okay, so let's move on to the turn order. So as you know, Greninja will nullify your boost within the first 3 turns, so I take the first 3 turns to use Fake Tears. So after he nullifies the boost, I will take this time to use Acid Armor 3 times, and then Calm Mind 3 times. And if I really need to, I'll utilize my heal cheers. And at this point, you won't be taking like any damage to anything, so you can just rip stored powers until he's dead. Now the problem with Vaporeon is the same as Slowbro, which is that you can miss and it's also that when his shield goes up he can cleanse at any time but if he does cleanse himself all you have to do is call mind a couple more times and you will be doing a lot of damage with that sword power now on to the last pokemon bet you guys didn't expect this one it's the fucking bozo now as this is the slowest method this is the most consistent i have not lost a single raid with the bozo now the reason for this is this build right here. Don Dozo gets the ability Unaware which ignores all stat changes on the 
enemy side, meaning that no matter how many times Greninja double teams, he will never miss. Now with that being said, this is the turn order. So in the first three turns, you already know that the Greninja will nullify your boosts, so the only thing you can do is just Earthquake three times, and by doing that, you'll have passive HP recovery with the Shell Bell, on top of having your Terra Stylization ready to go at any time. Now after those three turns are up, I'll start cursing to at least plus three, and make sure you're utilizing your heal cheers as you go because you're not going to be healing back any HP until you Terra and start attacking. Now once you get at least plus three on your curses, I usually push for plus five if I can, then you're going to Rain Dance, Terra to Water, and just start ripping liquidations. This will chip his shield down until it's broken probably, and once the rain goes out, then you can start using Earthquake as that does more damage when liquidation is not in the rain. And like I said, this method isn't the fastest, but it is the most consistent. So if you're looking to just beat it first try or you like you need some candies, then I would use this method as it will win you the raid every time. Now some final notes before we get into the raids. Once again, Intimidate Mons are your best friends in these raids. Intim Mons will reactivate Intimidate which lowers the attack by the Greninja of one stage every time they die and come back to life. So if you're using Slowbro or Vaporeon, this comes in handy a lot. And the other thing is that Greninja does not recognize water absorb or other water based abilities, meaning that you could get a free hydro pump and you could get a free heal off of that if you're using water absorb, so just keep that in mind. And with all of that, those are the builds I have to bring to the table, and a little question of the day, what did you use and what worked best for you in solo raids? I would love to hear your guys ideas and if you have any improvements to make on these builds, just leave a comment, I always do appreciate them and I do pin them. Now enough talking, let's watch some goddamn gameplay. That way you're not yeah, you like, risking early. dying. <laughs> Pokemon. Oh, yeah, Ironically, so with four people six. like Steely Spirit, you could be chilling, but. Once you get plus six, he just offs you. And then, like, sometimes it would randomly click Night Slap. And then, like, after that, he would just much more Yeah. yeah. I don't know, I don't know, Silver seems a lot more RNG in the beginning of the turns. Just always... Ground Terra. I'll try this, I'll try it. I don't know, Silver seems decent here. I missed the restore power, it's so annoying. <laughs> oh my um, god. I mean, it's expected. His setup mod. I didn't. I didn't think he would have two setup moves though, that is crazy. Silver, so, maybe he's not as consistent as I thought he was. Especially with this double team. Yeah, it's just I missed three already. Oh no. He's chalked. He all nullifies when I three sack defense? Yeah. It, it's early. He nullifies very early. I think Pokemon that can work its way around this. Interesting. Story power just like one shots it as yeah. soon as the shields are down. He has died. Spectators, that's also a thing we need to do. Yeah. There we go, mirror activates. Oh, that jump shot is gonna hurt. Oh, I forgot about defense, yeah. I was gonna talk about it. Ow. Did he miss you at all? Did he miss you at oh, all? I missed twice. Oh, nice. Oh, you don't get poisoned here. This Hydro Pump, that heals me. It's nice. Okay, it seems to just not recognize whenever... Okay, that's honestly fun. It seems to not recognize if you have... Big Water online. Absorb! Oh, heck yeah! Oh no, let's just try this. Should be about plus four now. Decent. That's not too bad. At this point, I'm so I'm bulked up so hard that I don't think I'm gonna just be able to. Um, I'm gonna beat him, but. That's crazy. Just got right there. He just dies. Okay. Hmm. Easy club. Did you kill him through shield? No. 
Oh, it did. Oh, it's in one shot. Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, gets into him. That's actually really nice. Spikes. It's gonna double team, but it doesn't matter because I'm unaware, so I'm just never gonna miss. Boy. Nice. The cleanse? Alright, perfect. We got three turns and then the cleanses. Uh, now we can start cursing. After I curse a couple times, it'll, it, it'll just not hit me, I think. Or just like not use, uh, it'll just not use gunshot. Just because it'll see, it'll look for a higher damaging move, which is hyper pump. Yep. It takes it, this this strat does take a little bit longer, but it just does seem like the most consistent one. Oh, now now that hydro pump's gonna be doing more. It's gonna outspeed since I'm doing the rain. He got a high roll now, which really sucks. So I'm gonna have to here, I think. I don't understand the heals in this game. They're they're so inconsistent. So now we can Terra. Doesn't even matter if it crits. It's not like gonna do that much. Let's see how much this action does. Not as much as I wanted it to do. It's slower, but it, it's consistent. Slowbro when he's got Night Slash. Slowbro is insanely good for this hurt, actually. I almost wonder if getting plus 6 would be faster. Yeah, let's get crit by going back. I don't know. It's very good to say. Yeah, no, Slowbro, the Slowbro and Vaporeon are kind of two sides of the same coin in which it, it's just RNG. Uh, but with the Vaporeon, you can one-shot it, but, or, but it's just RNG of whether you get hit by gunk shot. Uh, same, and then Slowbro, same thing, but instead it's Night Slash.